Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. In today's video, we are going to be doing a really casual vlog Surprisingly, I actually was able to work at a trade, so I'm really, really excited about that. And I am going to be going to pick up that plant today. So I wanna show you guys me prepping that plant to be ready for the trade and then also the actual trade and what I'm getting out of it. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys that. I also have a ton of new growth happening in and around my entire house. <laughs> so that is going to be super exciting to show you guys. But yeah, that's kind of it for today's video. I might do a little bit of plant care as well because I've been slacking a little bit. So if you're interested in that, definitely keep on watching all the way through to the end of today's video. Give it a thumbs up while you're at it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel while you're here so that you don't miss out on any future content. And I also have YouTube memberships if you would like to be a member of this channel and gain access to a Discord group chat and some extra content. So yeah, that's almost all of the blabbing before we get into today's vlog. But before we do, I wanna say another huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, and that is Ana Luisa. You guys know how much I love Ana Luisa. If you haven't noticed in about every single one of my videos, I do wear my beautiful jewelry from them. At the beginning of this year, I was looking for some everyday jewelry. And honestly, it's really hard to find at a relatively affordable price and while getting that good quality. So when I was approached by Ana Luisa, I was definitely excited to work with them. And I'm so excited to share that right now, if you buy one piece of Ana Luisa jewelry, you get the second piece 60% off. So it's definitely an amazing deal if you want to get something for someone for Christmas, or if you're just feeling like picking up some jewelry for yourself. But I can promise you, you will not be disappointed with the quality of this jewelry. This time around, I was sent the beautiful Rowena bracelet. I also chose this really nice, more bold, Joseph necklace. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then I also got this beautiful Taurus necklace. So if you love astrological signs and you want something that matches your own, you can definitely find that on Ana Luisa's site right now. I think it's one of their newest pieces and I love mine. So definitely if you are interested in picking up some Ana Luisa jewelry, go check out the link down in my description below and you can find that discount. But yeah, I totally recommend you guys go check that out. And thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Let's get straight on into the vlog. So guys, I'm actually just getting ready to leave to trade my Sport Variegated Monstera cutting here for a little bit of cash and also a really beautiful Syndapsis Silvery Anne. So I'm really excited to show you guys that trade, but I am just going to wrap this guy up so that it's safe in transit. And then we will meet up with person I'm trading with and I will show you the plant that I'm getting. Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap the roots in some paper towel to keep them moist. Um, I think this should probably stay in water for a little bit longer, so that's why I'm not planting it for her. And then I'm also just going to wrap the paper towel in saran wrap. Okay, and just because it's winter, I am going to wrap it in a little plastic bag here. All right, guys, and we're all set to go. All right guys, so I just got back from the trade. I had a little bit of lunch slash breakfast and I wanted to show you guys the plant. I honestly think this is so cute. I have been looking for a Syndopsis Silvery and just casually, I never really wanted to go out and purchase one, but the fact that I was able to trade for such a beautiful example of one with some really nice silver on it just makes me really happy. So. Yeah, so yeah, thank you to all of you guys who reached out wanting to trade with me. I honestly really, really appreciate it. I got so many kind messages of people wanting to make trades and 
I also just loved all of the feedback from the last video that I made. I was looking for answers and you guys really helped me figure out why people weren't buying plants and it makes sense for sure. I really hope that it's mostly just the weather and that once, you know, the weather gets better, people start trading again because stuff like this just makes me really happy and I think it looks adorable in this white pot. I also do have an Anthurium villaneorum that I want to trade. So if you guys are looking to trade still and you want that plant or you wanna buy it, let me know. I definitely am interested in figuring something out for that. But yeah, this is just so pretty. I can't get over it. Let's go find a spot for this guy though. So honestly, I think my shelves are kind of stocked up. I don't think that there's really much room for this guy on the shelves. So let's go see in the plant room. Okay, sorry about this crazy lighting. The sun is already coming down because it's so late, but I actually think I'm gonna put this in the kitchen here on the windowsill because everything seems to grow so nicely here. So let's check that out. Yeah, so I love that. I think it's gonna stay there. I'm sorry, it's so backlit, but it does look really, really cute just trailing here. And I think it will grow really nicely because of this being a south facing window. It really just gets so much light exposure all day long. So yeah, we'll keep it there until, you know, there's a sign that tells us not to, but I think it looks really, really cute. So I did also wanna show you guys the new growth on my Vichii here. So this here is the new leaf on the Vichii. It is coming out a little bit funky, but I think it looks pretty good. There is a slight rip in the leaf, but I think I did that when I was trying to help the leaf out. It was really, really stuck and it was about to snap. So I did my best, um, but I still think it looks really great. This guy does need some water though. And when leaves are coming out, especially on anthuriums, you wanna make sure that they are getting plenty of water or just enough and they're never dry. You know what I mean? So let's get this guy some water so that this leaf can just be super nice and hydrated. So look at me, I actually took my own advice and last time I remembered to fill up my watering can once I was done watering. So we have a little bit of extra for this guy. So this um, pot here, the wicker one actually does have a lining in it. So I'm hoping it doesn't uh, spill too much, but if it does, I'll just clean it up after. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I ended up topping this off after it fell over and lost a bunch of soil. I ended up topping it up with some perlite. And my reasoning for that was partially because I didn't have a lot of soil left over. And another reason is because I really wanna get some new roots growing a little bit higher up on this plant so that it can support the leaves that it does have. So I'm hoping by putting perlite near the base of the plant, we'll get some new roots where we didn't have some before. I am testing that out for you guys. I'll let you know how that works, but it seems to be going okay for now. So guys, this is the Villaneorum, the Anthurium Villaneorum that I was talking about. And it's actually putting out a brand new leaf, which is really exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing kind of how that one turns out. It does look like this older leaf here is yellowing slightly. I'm sure that this new leaf is kind of taking the energy from this one and it will eventually die off, but these two leaves here still look super cute. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on this one if it doesn't get traded off. Yeah, I love the look of new Anthurium leaves. It's funny that both of my Anthuriums are you know, pushing out new growth right now. It's really, really exciting. And unfortunately, I don't have any new prop updates. As you can see, some of the nodes are whittling away a little bit, but that's to be expected. They don't all survive. And while I'm here, I'm also going to take this Syndapsis Silver Hero over to the sink to give it some water because it's obviously pretty thirsty. Even though this plant is thirsty, I have actually been a lot better with keeping on top of watering. This one is just in sphagnum moss and that does dry out a little bit faster, but yeah, my plants seem to be doing a lot better just in general. All right, and I'll just let this guy drain out in here, um, but that definitely gave it the hydration that it needed. And if you guys do have moss poles, I definitely recommend you watering them regularly too, whenever you water the plant, because that's how those roots are going to dig into it. Another really exciting update is coming from my ring of fire up there. Let me bring it down and show you. 
So it's been a little while, but this plant is finally throwing some hands, as you can see here. There are actually three separate growth points coming from this one individual growth. So that is super exciting. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Usually one of those growths will kind of take over and be prioritized. And I don't know, you don't normally get three growths, but if it has the energy to do that, that'd be fantastic. This growth here though is definitely gonna be the largest leaf. And these may be little offshoots that I could possibly propagate down the road, which would be super exciting. So yeah, this guy is doing well enough. I think I actually will take it over to the kitchen with you guys and maybe just wipe off the leaves. I have my mixture in there, but the leaves are looking pretty dusty from being up on the shelf. Okay, so we're actually just gonna do it in the bathroom here. All right, yeah, that automatically looks a million times better. So this is super heavy and I'm gonna put it back now. All right guys, well, I think that is going to be it for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys all for reaching out on my last video. I really appreciate the support and yeah, if you guys enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And also if you'd like to join as a member, you can do so by clicking the join button down in the description below. Also, thank you again so much to Anna Louisa for sponsoring today's video. Go check out their jewelry down below in the description if you're interested. But yeah, that's going to be all for me guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye guys.